Hello and Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is question, uh, lecture number 29 and in this part of the lecture I will be uh, discussing about the analysis of economic feasibility of uh, various renewable power solutions. So first of all we will be discussing about the solar power and its economic feasibility and environmental analysis. So let's uh, start with the economic and environmental analysis. Within the uh, upcoming uh, discussion the specific power production cost and the selected environmental burdens uh, will be explained and will be discussed for the state of the art grid connected photovoltaic generator or the photovoltaic uh, plants. Yet the economic and environmental assessment of standalone photovoltaic systems which is much more difficult and it basically uh, largely depends upon the respective sites conditions. For instance uh, some sites have uh, more uh, sunlight as compared uh, to the others and some have more inclination angle towards the sun rays as compared to the others. For instance the uh, economic and environmental parameters of hybrid systems are uh, largely influenced by the distributions of uh, uh, generated power among the individual power generating units. Furthermore there is no fixed easy and determinable uh, comparison uh, facilitating the economic and environmental comparisons. Whereas for uh, grid connected systems the parameters uh, as I have uh, mentioned previously are largely com uh, compared to the power plants alternatives. Uh, the assessment of standalone systems uh, is relatively difficult. For instance, uh, light uh, generated by the photovoltaic system, home system is often used uh, in replacement of uh, candles, um, kerosene lamps and uh, lead acid batteries. Additionally, standalone systems are uh, generally only applied in the regions where they have an economic edge over the grid extension. The economic assessment quickly reveals that not so much uh, power production cost but uh, rather the power distribution uh, cost account for the major share in the consumer and uh, consumer end price. For this reason uh, such system will not be uh, discussed in uh, our upcoming uh, discussion. Currently uh, the grid connected photovoltaic uh, power generation is mainly formed by the means of uh, roof mounted systems as well as uh, with an increasing uh, importance by means of so called uh, photovoltaic power plants and hence a typical photovoltaic system of an electrical no nominal capacity of 3.03 uh, uh, kilowatt uh, is installed on a slanting roof will be analyzed. Additionally a system located on a horizontal roof of an insulating building with an installed capacity of 20 kilowatt is taken into consideration to cover the overall market. The analysis will uh, additionally be performed for a uh, 2000 kilowatt uh, photovoltaic power plant mounted on a steel frame on a ground. Uh, out of the uh, wide range of uh, solar cell technology currently available in the market exclusively multi crystalline silicon uh, solar cells uh, uh, with cell efficiencies of 16% uh, will be uh, analyzed assuring uh, that the standard uh, test conditions in literature uh, referred to as uh, STC uh, under uh, central European climatic uh, uh, circumstances and current technical boundary conditions uh, 
for a full load hour of the analyzed system uh, amount to approximately 800 uh, HY uh, A for sites in north uh, to central Europe to approximately uh, 1000 uh, for sites uh, to uh, sites in central to uh, south uh, Europe and approximately uh, 1200 HY A hours a day uh, uh, for uh, uh, promising sites in uh, southern Europe to uh, northern uh, Africa. The uh, lifetime of the solar modules is estimated to be around 30 years uh, and it is usually around 30 to 40 years. Uh, uh, the technical uh, data of these reference plants uh, is given in this uh, table for uh, this is the system 1 and this is system 2 and uh, this is uh, system 3 that I was just uh, discussing about and A is the, the uh, it is de basically defining the uh, standard uh, test conditions STC that I was just talking about. So for these systems, uh, technical availability of 99% uh, is assumed uh, that is only for 1% of the year power generation is unavailable due to the uh, failures or maintenance, uh, let's say uh, it can be said that unforeseen circumstances. Uh, uh, this is uh, realistic as uh, the maintenance work can partially be performed with no electrical energy can be provided uh, due to the lack of uh, solar uh, radiation that is uh, uh, basically during the uh, night hours <coughs> in the uh, in, uh, in these uh, uh, variables and fixed cost uh, will, uh, can also be considered uh, as well as the electricity uh, production costs uh, can be discussed depending upon the plant size and the uh, uh, applied technology that is being used the expenditures that are associated with the uh, 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 installation and maintenance of a certain uh, solar pl uh, plant uh, may vary tremendously therefore the cost uh, Will, uh, will be discussed uh, about the uh, these uh, conditions uh, and we will basically uh, be covering the cost analysis using uh, average conditions.